College campus needs, you know, a vibrant place to have uh, open dialogue and discourse. That's uh, exactly what uh, student media is for. It's Cool, today we each have some uh, brief announcements and then uh, we're going to uh, spend the rest of the day, you can work in sections. I worked in film and theater production for a while before I got into journalism and then uh, eventually did a master's and PhD at the Missouri School of Journalism. So that was an attractive part of this job to advise the arbiter um, part of why I came here. Um, I just want to shout out to a couple people who are doing some really exceptional work. Uh, shout out to Sonora, she has two really well done articles going in print this week, so super cool. So, that's super awesome. Um, so I'm yeah, on a few right now, but almost everything's up already. We're trying to make the digital transition just like everybody else. Trying to make it look interesting and professional. I'm getting that turned around quickly with some nice detail and context there. We are competing with the Argonaut. That's our like number one competition that we're going against, which is the U of I newspaper. I'm working. You know, this is how I spend most of my job. It's waiting for stuff to load, and then it freaking won't, and it rejects it, and it breaks my heart. This is the reason I have trust issues. Uh, the problem that I'm having right now is the WordPress website likes to reject a lot of the photos. It just gives me an error message, and it does it quite often. You know, if the writer gets the article in on time, and if the photo's in on time, then it should be published on time, and that's just not fair to them, and it's just very frustrating. <laughs> So that's my current dilemma. How okay. Close it a little. Okay. How's everyone doing? Tell Mary Amber. Like they're yeah. um, working emails. They don't work. It was oh really? They're telling me that this email does not exist. Oh, that's weird. So I'm gonna see. Go get their student oh, emails, which I just put you. Okay. Cool. I'll pay for it next week then. I can't. I got So I have three resources. One of them is. Uh, okay. It's like. Brand new name from the. How did you start with social work? I really love meeting new people from around the community and it's just a great way to get involved with local events on campus and in Boise. How many words is it? Do you remember off the top of your head? Or roughly? Like a rough amount? I think it's between 500 and 600. So we'll go 550 ish. Okay. It's interesting because culture usually has like the more fluffy stories. You know, like we get to write about movies and like the fun stuff, but I find that a lot of the challenges come with digging deeper into student populations and trying to learn more about the actual cultural atmosphere. I know that it's a student-run paper, as far as I know. Um, I also see them on Twitter, so. I really like um, when they do like the sports coverages. Those are fun to keep up on. Um, last time I went, all of them were there like practicing or whatever, and you yeah. could literally just ask them, hey, can I talk to one of your players? Is this e-sport? <laughs> really yeah, good. for e-sports. Yeah. Perfect, yeah. And I would make sure to ask them about like the arena and yeah, it's like, like a perfect person. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys can all that stuff. Um, and so we don't have to worry about a picture for that. I know I asked you about that because I talked to our illustrator guy and he's going to make like a little image of like a pissed off bike rider with like a flat tire. And it's so important to me that students know that this is a resource for them, that it's all real genuine content. I like knowing what's going on on campus. 